What's up guys, uh, Laser452 here, and I am going to work on another video. I know I've said that I'll have a few videos for Friday, but I had a job coach called me and said, Hey, I need you to do this assessment. So I went in and did that, and when I got back home, I was tired. And then the next day, <laughs> let's just say I had a few beers and I just said, Screw it, I'm just going to sit back play some games and stuff. Because it is uh, Labor Day weekend, so, but I'm going to go ahead and do a video as promised, so I'm hoping everybody's alright with it, but this video is a request. Another thing is my computer still hasn't been shut down as I am still working on my hard drive here, as you guys can see, so I just want to give you guys updates, and so far... <laughs> many sectors has been fixed and this thing has gone on to day four as you guys could tell by the time up there so when I'm just sitting right here just uh, chilling probably play some games or whatever on my phone I'm also going to go ahead and work on this ROM uh, the link is in the description so you guys can go ahead and get it downloaded and I am going to read all this to see what type of boot stacks I'm going to need or whatever but yes this is a request for somebody um, they told me they already got the ROM on their phone but you know just in case anybody wants to use this ROM this video will help you out how to install it how to get it going all that this uh, ROM is supposed to work with plenty of uh, phones but as of right now, I'm only supporting the LG G3 VS985. So if you're using the LG V10, that's a different model, or you're using the G4, or whatever the case may be, and this video bricked your device, don't become crying to me because I specifically said I am using this operating system on the LG G3 VS985. So you've been warned at the beginning of this video, so when that download is done, we are going to go ahead and install this baby into our LG G3s. So I'll get right back to you guys in a little bit. YouTube and I got another video for you guys as you guys just saw at the beginning of the video is I am going to install another ROM now I don't know where the boot stack is for this ROM and everything so I don't know if it's boot in uh, boot in listen at me I don't know if it's built in or not but I am was looking for it so I have access to the older downloads of this ROM, but I don't see anything about boot stacks or anything like that. Right now I'm having the ROM being placed into my phone. Um, right now, yes, I know my phone's upside down, but who cares? But I don't see anything about boot stack so I'll probably just use the one that I use if it's required so the ROM is in so let's go ahead and try it the ROM's supposed to be in the root of the phone System data and cache. I'm going to go ahead and wipe those out. And then I'm going to 
to install that zip it as well. Alright, and while it's doing its thing, okay, you get yourself a little boot menu and all that. Let's go ahead and get this tripod set up. Yes, I have to move the tripod. I am recording this video in manual because I discovered something recently uh, on my last video. I was making a joke about stupid dirt. You're making my lens scuffed up. Actually, no, it was no dirt. It was actually the lens. As you guys can see, I don't know if I can get it to do it or not. As you guys can see, that and it's because the lens on my phone is scratched there's like a line straight through but you guys won't see it and it's because i've dropped this phone and that's no joke man i really dropped this phone and this phone still works works awesome as a camera all right let's go ahead and dim down the iso and I am going to work with the magic focus. Yeah, I'm doing it manually so you guys can see it. All right, we got the full, full, I don't know how to pronounce it, but we got a new ROM. I'm gonna go ahead and just install it as usual. We got installation. Change log, system info, exit. We're gonna go ahead and do installation. What are those? Is those? Oh, it's just like asking you what kind of phone you have. I have the Verizon model. As I've given you guys a warning about. Make it sharp. And uh, sharpening probably just leave it as stock value because I have no problems but you can choose however you want um, we select your uh, stock thermal cooling or config my bed or modify thermal cooling to reduce lag I never had this phone blow up and I've actually had it reach up to 70 Celsius so no problem so I have the modified one and then you can choose what apps you want to have installed on here. Um, sorry, I had to pull the phone away from the camera. As my fans should know that I am legally blind. But for the LG apps, you got those right there. I'll try my best. Then you got some Google apps. You can select any of those. And then you have other apps. As for me, I'm gonna go with Attaway. Fuck ads. And then you got some sound effects. You can do sound boost, or you can do like both of them. It looks like, but I'm not gonna do that because it's giving you a warning. Be careful. I'm not gonna do no sound boost. But Viper for Android is actually pretty awesome. I still say my tablet, my 10 inch tablet, can destroy a subwoofer in a heartbeat. In your region, we are in North America. If you're elsewhere, you can choose otherwise, but as of right now, we're North America, USA, USA. And then it's ready to be installed. Installed now. So now it's gonna do its thing. There's not much to talk about this ROM. I've never run it before, but I was asked questions about it, but they successfully got it. But I just told them straight up, you know, I'll still do your video request. Any of my fans are welcome to give me video requests because, you know, I want to work on this channel, get it up and going, and amaze all you guys like, holy shit, you can actually do this or whatever, because, you know, I want to get this channel successful and I want to make it big to where it'll help everybody out with their phones and stuff. 
I do have a new device, as you guys seen in the Unbox Laser. If you have it, uh, just look for the one that says Mystery Box. But I do have a new device that I haven't even touched yet. And for those who has it, um, I'm pretty sure you guys are waiting for me to go ahead and root it. Alright, the last one, just make sure you have it checked. We're going to go ahead and reboot the device and press Next. We'll press Finish. And there it goes. But... Uh, when it's, I get my videos caught up and everything, I will definitely will root that device. Right now, I am making some videos. So we're going to watch this thing boot up. Alright, so the ROM is booting up right now, so we're going to see how well this ROM will run, if you guys will have service and all that, because like I said, on the post, there was no thing about boot stacks or whatever, so we're going to see if it'll run. I mean, this is just a basic install of a ROM, and it looks like this is something that is going to get you marshmallow because it is marked as 6.0 and then they have an OTA version on top of this page here. I got everything all expanded out. My phone's still booting up so I'll lay on well it's not my phone on hard drive. Hopefully I'll, I'll be good. As you guys can see they got OTAs right there so you guys can get those same process just get TWRP and then boom we make it clear yeah, we make it clear with all those colors blinding people phone still booting into it right now now I booted my phone from 10B so it's going from 10B to this operating system so there you go I will come back to when it's done with all of its crazy stuff so right here's the operating system holy shit that's pretty dark here we go here's the operating system and um, looks like it works so we can go ahead and give it a try let's see what number can I try I'm gonna call my uh, other cell phone. Alright, so it did work. So there's no boot stacks or anything like that. But this actually is a pretty nice operating system here. It looks like I'm running on that damn G5 the way it feels like. Ooh, this one's got a 60 frames a second on here. Okay. HD, or full HD 60, and then you got an Ultra HD. That's not bad, so you got a 720. Oops, I hit something. You got a, uh, yeah, 720, 1080, 1080, uh, 60 frames a second and then you get an ultra HD and then you can do a bunch of things more do you can do slow mo you can ooh they got a time lapse that is so awesome I want to know if it will work on this phone hmm that to record time lapse video okay and it's supposed to be like four seconds time lapse X 15 it looks like it says so it's let me know let's do it slowly you know just for a test so I've got one second there sweet man I could probably just stick with this operating system and say screw it all because if it has time lapsing that would be fucking perfect with the V10 and the G3 all hooked up to the power source 
and I can sit there and just have these phones do all some time lapses and stuff. That would be pretty cool if getting them at certain angles and stuff. I haven't done a time lapse on the V10 because right now the V10's been through so much and it's my main media uh, phone, everything. Okay, so let's stop it and see how well that will look. Go ahead and uh, the gallery. Okay. Yeah, that's a time lapse because as you guys can see, I was moving the phone extremely slow and you guys see it just like speed up like that. This operating system is pretty awesome. I mean, I can probably like just get used to this one. Alright, so yeah, it feels like you're running on the LG G5 operating system, but... Let's see. Yeah, that one worked too. It's all smudged up. You now with your big sweaty head and everything. There you go. That looks better. Yes, you know, I'm just sitting in my underwear. Does it look like I care? No, it's called a fucking weekend. And you guys can see my awesome V10. So yeah. Hi everybody. I have no shirt on, but I'm sexy as fuck. <laughs> All right, so so far I like the camera. So far on this phone, I haven't bitched about it one bit yet. Right, let's see what else they got. We got the grid. I always use the grid. Auto HDR. I always have it set on auto. I know I'm not showing anything to you guys, but. Uh, you know what I mean. I say problems. So the thing is that the phone does not have this is what the V10 has. Or video. Was on one. That's the only thing that the phone's missing is what the V10 and the G4 has. It would be cool if they have it to where, whoops, if you have the manual options, at least for the camera. I don't care about the video because the V10 is always going to be used as the main device for videos and stuff because I can adjust anything I damn well please you know the white balance I'm pretty sure I've showed this to you guys before that I can turn everything red and everything blue so that's what I love about the V10 now as you guys can see it's a simple install you just get the full ROM we get the OTA is the full ROM and uh, we'll straighten this up real quick. Where it says full ROMs, and I chose that one right here. I went to the Mega website, and I went ahead and did it. You know what? For the guy who requested a video of this operating system, I really am going to have fun with this one. I do appreciate that, so let's give it a try. But sadly, I do have another video request of another LG G3. Um, another LG G3 uh, operating system request. I gotta find that message and uh, and get it. This one, I, I'm glad you gave me the link and I post it right on my computer, so I'm hoping that everybody will enjoy it. And if you guys have any problems, uh, I guess you can talk to me because I'll be running on this one for a little bit and then we'll go on from there. I'm gonna be messing around with some tweaks that the operating system gives you and go on from there.